Hey everyone, this is John Benue with Keller Williams of Southern Maryland, and today I've got a bone to pick with endangered species laws. Now, you guys may have read in the newspapers about this Puritan tiger beetle and the problems it's causing out in Calvert County. You see, in Calvert County, there's a subdivision called Chesapeake Ranch Estates uh, down in Lusby. Now, this subdivision has a rather large cliff front, and the eroding soil in that cliff is the natural habitat for the Puritan tiger beetle. Now, there's only about 5,000 of these beetles left in the wild, so they are an endangered species, and because of that, uh, the federal government prevents anybody from damaging or modifying their habitat in such a way that it might uh, damage the species uh, population. So that means that everybody that lives on the cliff that is trying to stop their house from uh, eroding away uh, is essentially out of luck. Um, you know, it's one thing to purchase a piece of land that's on a cliff and understand that that may be an issue and there may be associated cost with stopping that. But it's an entirely different matter for the federal government to tell you that you have no rights to protect your land because an insect that's roughly an inch long uh, is more important than your homestead. Uh, it would make sense to me for the federal government to step in and if they're that concerned about protecting the habitat for the last 5,000 of these beetles that are in existence, is to offer the homeowners a fair market per, uh, buyout of their property so that they can move somewhere else and the land can be left to erode so that the beetle can have some place to eat. Uh, that's my thought on it. I'd love to hear other people chime in and uh, comment on the story. I know I'm going to be following it very closely, but I will say at this point it doesn't look good for homeowners. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, I hope everyone's having a great new year so far, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.